Aaron, this new ordinance would put the city of Pacific Grove in compliance with new state law in 2018, while also making sure that the sale of marijuana is banned within the city limits. The fact that Pacific Grove is looking to put another pot prohibition on the books is not surprising. All we're doing is encouraging more people to be smoking dope driving their cars. The town has always been slow to allow substances of any kind. Slow is an understatement. Uh, Pacific Grove was the last dry town in the state of California. They did not allow alcohol uh, till 1968. Only three years ago, Pacific Grove allowed wine tasting. In a town where you can only serve beer and wine outdoors if it's behind a fence, it's no shock that city leaders want to say no to selling weed. So the ordinance that we're presenting is a prohibition of all commercial activity and it also has a little bit about what um, private persons over the age of 21 can do. To come into compliance with new state laws on recreational cannabis, the city will allow you to grow six plants indoors for personal use only. The city of Pacific Grove can put a ban on all commercial cannabis activity, but stopping all deliveries is difficult using a simple app called Weed Maps. It shows us just how easy it is to find a delivery service near us. What is surprising is just how many PG voters said yes to recreational marijuana. 69% voted in favor of Proposition 64, but leaders say that doesn't always mean they want to see it sold on their streets. So yes, we are slow, but I think it's more methodical and it's uh, research based and it's truly what the people want. The city of Pacific Grove says it plans to hold town hall style meetings on the issue in the future to gauge public opinion as Proposition 64 fully goes into effect next year. Erin. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you. Uh, Pacific Grove will join Carmel, which voted in an almost identical ordinance earlier this month.